Hello there everybody, my name is Birdstar and I'm gonna be recording for Monday and Tuesday being that I didn't I, I didn't record yesterday I'll be recording two videos um, the first video is gonna be anime because it's Tuesday and then I'll be recording Monday for yesterday so in today's video we'll be talking about Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, which is actually a pretty funny anime. So basically it's a... Basically it's about Miss Kobayashi that she... Basically she saves this girl's life. Her name is, um... Damn it. I, I forget her name, um... Uh, I forget her name, but yeah, she saves her life because she's a dragon. She takes out the sword from her bag because originally when she was a dragon, um, she fought against this brave, brave knight that threw a sword in her bag and it completely froze her for, for ages and ages, like maybe 600 years or more. So basically, Ms. Kobayashi takes out the sword and she's basically drunk, like, she's completely hammered and she's like, uh, duh, duh, duh. and she's like, uh, why don't you come to my house and, and, you know, she was completely hammered. So she takes out the sword and basically, um, this, this dragon girl, which apparently I forget her name, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to remember. Let me just look it up. Sorry about that. I forget her name. I don't know why. Uh, there we go. Toru. There we go. Her name is Toru, so yeah. It took me a while to remember, but yeah, her name is Toru. Um, she saves her life, basically. Not really, she wasn't really dying, she was just frozen. So basically after that, um, they live together and she's basically her, her dragon maid. You know, tending to the house, cleaning the house, um, and the cool thing about it, she uses magic in order to clean the house. She doesn't really um, know how to clean the house properly like a human does. Because obviously she's part dragon. Well, she's a full dragon, but she could transform into a human form, which is actually pretty cute. As you can see, she has a tail coming out of her and she has big, big horns and stuff. So yeah. Um, uh, so basically she saves her life and she starts living with her and they start forming a little relationship which is actually pretty cute even though Miss Kobayashi is a female uh, I guess they could be lesbians that's perfectly valid I guess um I'm probably gonna name the rest of the dragons this dragon is her name is Kana. Um. The, the only play, the only person they introduced was Toru Kana, and this one behind with the hat. Her name is Quetzalcoatl. So basically, they name her after the dragon from Aztec mythology, which is actually pretty cute. Uh, well, they call her Lukoa. Well, her actual name is Katsukoro because she has rainbow uh, hair and stuff like that. And she's actually the most bustiest out of all of them, which is funny. Um, what else can I say besides it's hilarious, like it's extremely funny. 
Um, I've been watching the first few episodes, like four episodes. And to be honest, it's actually pretty good. You know, um, uh, what else can I say besides them? Um, uh, let me just move the volume a little bit. Uh, there we go, perfect. So you guys can hear it. Um, what else besides Toru? Like she's funny. Uh, basically, she likes to play with her boobs. I don't know why. Um, so they start forming a, a nice little relationship. Uh, I guess I kind of could read the synopsis. It's doesn't say. That is so weird. Cause there should be some kind of... Okay, let's see. Ah, wait, perfect. Right here. About the show, Miss Kobayashi is an average office worker who lives a boring life, alone in her small apartment. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> So she stayed the life of a female dragon in distress. A dragon named Toru has the ability to magically transform into an adorable human girl. Albeit with horns and a long tail. Who, who will do anything to pay off her debt of gratitude whether Miss Kobayashi likes it or not. With a very persistent and amorous dragon as a roommate because obviously the dragon loves her <laughs> at, like over um, she wants him to basically uh, play things with her you know like I she basically I love you Miss Kobayashi and then she starts you know being a little too flirtatious with her she's not ready for that yet um, Nothing comes easy, and Miss Kobayashi's normal life's about to go go off the deep end. She basically, yeah. When I seen the first three episodes. I might want to watch the rest of them to like episode 14 is the most recent one, I believe. But actually, it's pretty good. Like. The mythology behind it is actually pretty good, like, um... Uh... Where is it? Ah! Here's the Wikipedia. Um... Wait, wrong... Wrong page. Um, what is it? Huh, there we go. Uh, so, they basically named after some kind of mythology. Like, Toru, let's see, she's kind of a... Doesn't say. So, ah, her background. Toro is raised to believe that humans were evil, inferior, and foolish beings, which explains her initial distaste toward the human race in alignment with the Chaos Faction. She was heavily injured by a god leading a human army in her last battle, forcing her to retreat to the modern world to hide, where she meets Kobayashi who rescues her on the verge of death. Doesn't say which mythology. Doesn't say. Sort of She's the daughter of the Emperor of Demise, which I don't know nothing about yet. 
so it looks kind of like one of the dragons from from um from like uh Eng English mythology, you know, like uh, British knights and warriors. Kana, she's a, she's kind of like a white dragon, like an angel dragon. Where do you think you're going? Yeah, she has like an electric ability, so she's. She's kind of like the dragon from Legend of Zelda, you know, that shoots electricity, which is, I think it's Feroz, no, not Feroz. Uh, no. Yeah, I think it is Feroz. Because Dinral, if, if you guys know the Legend of Zelda, there's three dragons. Um, Dinral, Feroz, and... I, I forget the last one. The last one is the ice dragon. Nadra, there we go. Um, she's kind of like Feroz because for, I, I mean, yeah, Feroz because he's an electric dragon. Dinral is a fire and Nadra is a ice dragon, which is actually a pretty cool idea for Legend of Zelda, but. So yeah, she's kind of like Feroz. She, She's just not shaped. Well, actually, she is. If you see her, her um. Okay, let me see. Uh, Kana. Kana Kamui. There we go. Let me see. Dragon form. Images. Yeah, she's kind of like a regular dragon. So she's kind of like a white dragon. Which is actually pretty cute. I actually like the fact that they make her look like a white angel dragon. And basically she's um she's an she's like an electric dragon. So I actually like um kinda and um as for Ketzel Cordal or Lukoa as they say, um I don't know what her power is, but we we'll probably have to look at that later on. I'll be watching the rest of the the episode so then I could get a brief, you know, a brief detail explaining what happens in the story. Um, I guess that's it. Like that does it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.